When you started coming back into the church, did you ever meet any resistance or any judgment, you'd say, or any like negative reactions uh, with the people that you've talked to? Or like, what, what's your experience been like talking about this type of stuff in, in the church? Oh yeah, you know, um, interestingly, when I when I first got back into the church, I was associating with people in the church that I couldn't relate to as much. Um, it was most, I guess the community was mostly comprised of adults who I didn't know and I was sort of like a, a, a bit of a teenager. So I would, it, it, these I guess were not the people I would discuss this stuff with. Right. So nobody ever knew. So I, I guess, <laughs> I guess, um, I guess they, um, nobody really had the chance to react. Right. The only people who would know were the priests that I would confess to. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, um, across all the priests that I've confessed to, I would say all of them know what the church teaches and know, know how to handle it with the, um, the, the person who confessed. Now, um, so nobody really treated me uncharitably, nobody uh, uh, tossed me out. In fact, um, the reason why I'm there is to confess the sin of, of um, you know, masturbating to gay porn or something right, like that. Right. So, so obviously they'd be eager to, that, that, that I'd be there confessing my sins and, and, um, for, and for them to, to absolve me of my sins. However, um, there were some, there were, there were priests who have sternly charged me, like, um, like some, some, some priests, uh, uh, w want to be, um, want to be as, like, uh, nice in the sense of, like, happy as possible when they talk to me. Right. There were other priests who would sort of scold me for my sins, so mm. to speak. Mm. But then it was never done in a way in the sense that I was being rejected because of my attraction. It right. was always in the sense of, you know, of I exhort you to stop sinning against yeah. God. No. You know, you really need to take this seriously. So I, I when, a, when a priest is like that, uh, I'm I'm very uh, thankful for it. I because you know admonishing sinners is one of the the spiritual works of mercy. It's something that definitely needs to happen at some point. But then I, I've I've never had any kind of uncharitable treatment for this. I think all of that ended with the normal course of elementary school bullying. 